All right, that is where we unlock Hobgoblin. And you're definitely going to want to get to that early in the game uh, because he is a great character uh, to use for races in the air. So probably easier to get him and then do the Green Goblin race. So let's go ahead and check. All right, so there we go. We got the Hobgoblin. Oopsie. We got the Hobgoblin unlocked, but uh, we need to go ahead and get him. So there he is next to Howard the Duck and in between Hitmonkey. 250,000 studs. Uh, he is in the 11th level of the game, and that is uh, the Cree level. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, Cree Search and Development. It's actually the 12th level, I think. Um, now, even though it's the 12th level, you can actually do it pretty, pretty much sooner. But I would go back as soon as you have free room available for it and do it. Uh, that is because Green Goblin has a race. Uh, it's 60 checkpoints long, and it is at the top of the Zeppelin in... I don't think we can see it from here. But it's at the top of the Zeppelin in the, the Hydra Empire, and it is tough. And I've found Green Goblin as the best character to do races with. So Ben Kingsley, I'm assuming this is Ben Kingsley, is a big time rival of the Green Goblin. Uh, these two do not like each other. And uh, love it. So um, I'm definitely stoked to have Hobgoblin in the game. Uh, he's definitely a really cool character. And he was actually, I think, number one-ish on my list of top 10 characters that I wanted in the game. Uh, so he's basically just another version of Green Goblin. I mean, the, like the Cliff Notes version of the story. So I think this is definitely a character. Right when you hit the open world, you are going to want to nab quickly. Uh, because some of those races can be tricky. And that right there is the Zeppelin high above Hydra Empire. And that race... Ah, let me just tell you. I had to have pack attack log into my account from his home on the other side of the country and do the race for me i'm that bad at it i i was literally about to throw my playstation through the ceiling and that would have been really really devastating uh for all of you because then you wouldn't be able to watch my videos uh because my playstation would be broken but then again then i would be able to play on the Xbox, the vastly superior Xbox, and uh, yeah, I'm trolling. Someone just bumped their way to the top of my best I needed that. So there's a bunch of those guys around the helicarrier, um, around Manhattan. This is where all the, I guess the debris came down when he, when Kang shot down the helicarriers. So I'm assuming that's what it was. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing that cutscene, so, but you can certainly look through my all cutscenes video. It should be out by now. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I like Green Goblin a lot in this game, in all the LEGO games, basically. Um, you know, he's, he's definitely a, uh, I think, let me hear. He's definitely a great character, that's for sure. But, um... You know, having Hobgoblin just makes it that much cooler. Uh, there's a lot of goblins, uh, believe it or not. And, um, I mean, if there's anything that these uh, comic book companies do, it's they take a good idea and they find a way to use it over and over and over again. So, um, But uh, the goblin kind of rivalry and everything is pretty cool. Uh, not the biggest of Spider-Man fans, per se, but I do appreciate the Goblin Wars. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually called the Goblin Wars. It might be. That, I mean, if it's not, like, dude, Marvel, I'll pitch the idea to you. We can have the Goblin Wars. I think they've basically had that, so. Um, but in any event, uh, we are unlocked. I, I'm just trying to find uh, what's left of these. Uh, there's four more of them that just need rescuing, essentially. You basically come up to them and 
break the debris, and they are free. And they can live normal lives. There's another one. Yeah. You're the best. Seriously. Better than all the rest. <laughs> Is he like following me around in his chariot? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I love it when there's like a weird glitch like that. Like I once had a weird glitch with uh, with Hulkbuster in the last game, or Lego Marvel Super Heroes anyway, um, where he was not supposed to be flying, but he was basically flying with me. And that was epic. One hint that I would definitely give people when you start playing is listen, listen for things. Like you're gonna hear people say things in the world and those are indicators. Like you're gonna hear people talk about, or you're gonna hear like a cat, like a cat meowing. And you definitely wanna start looking in that area because you know, there might be the, the cat that you have to rescue like lurking around. Um, Interesting, we got some quests here. Wow, so Green Goblin can do this. I'm surprised that, um... I'm surprised that Hobgoblin couldn't do that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I messed that up. I was too busy trying to do the uh, animation. Like we can do anything else here, but uh, that is the Hobgoblin, and he is awesome. Let's look at his card real quick. Uh, Roderick Kingsley. Not well. I mean, I guess Ben Kingsley is. I don't know if that's what they actually call me. I guess it is Roderick Kingsley. Uh, I messed that up. So flight, uh, silver Lego blow up, electricity, acrobat, and target. Roderick Kingsley was a fashion designer in New York with the alter ego Hobgoblin that he used to blackmail his competitors. Getting hold of the Green Goblin formula, he gave himself superhuman powers to further his criminal career. However, he has found Spider-Man battling him at every turn. Uh, Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number 43 in 1980 is Roger Kingsley. So there you go, guys. That is the Hobgoblin. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see.